So here we have the counter flow heat exchanger for work chilling for home brew making. See it's drip to a test run. The base description you got a stock pot here, it's gonna be full of the boiling wort and it runs into half inch copper tube and you can see down at the bottom there. And that's gonna go into this half inch ball valve that has a quick disconnect on the end of it. A little bit of leakage, so we got uh, cloth down there. And here's the actual uh, heat exchanger itself. It's basically just three inch, inch copper tubing rolled up in a coil of rubber garden hose. And you can see you've got a T right down here where the copper tubing is inside, it runs into the T, which then continues on into the rest of the coil. And the output of it is here, which is currently dripping into this bucket. Meanwhile, you've got cooling water coming from your faucet goes into the other side and at the top of the T and you have a cooling water jacket that runs parallel uh, rather parallel runs uh, the other counter flow direction to your wort so you wind up with extremely good heat transfer uh, enough to chill the wort from 200 degrees down to about 80 in one pass so we're gonna have a quick demonstration here I'm going to open the ball valve and start the flow and then start the tap flow and you can see we have what would be chilled wort going into the bucket, also aerating, makes it very good, gives more oxygen to the yeast, and the warmed water coming out of the other end of the hose. And you just have to flow balance and you actually have it going to get the uh, wort down to the temperature you want. Like I said, about 80 degrees is ideal. So, pretty much it. Pretty simple to make. It took about $30, two hours, some soldering, and several trips to Home Depot. But, well worth it.